We have the speed video chart on ticker symbol XTRM. We will take a look at the daily time frame. So here's a chart that had some news out this morning, and you can see that the uh, price reacted nicely with it. Volume came back to life, and then the price reacted accordingly. So that's always good to see. Nothing worse than seeing volume start to increase like this, and then seeing the price either go sideways or worse yet down. You know, that was not the case. Volume came in, price reacted nicely and pushed up there. Some profit taking did hit it, but it's not like it uh, you know, completely fell apart or anything like that. Um, so from that perspective, just looking at volume and price action, you know, very nice to see the price be able to show that it can move when above average volume does hit it. So what I wanna do is map out some supports and resistance levels here. Uh, the first thing to point is the overall context is bullish. What gives me the right to say that? Well, if we look down here at our overall movement averages, this purple line here, the 50 day, pink line here, the 200 day, you can see both are sloping upwards. So therefore that is what is giving us our overall trend. And when they are sloping upwards like that, you know, you gotta give, gotta give the edge to the bulls. So with these being the overall support levels, uh, let's talk about some more uh, shorter term ones. The level that really stuck out to me is this level right here. And that sits at uh, 4.044. The reason you know why this sits out is this was a previous level of resistance. It's where the profit taker stepped in on this big move here. Then you can see it pulled back, put in a higher low, I should add, which is always a good sign. Came back up here, and then when the price was able to break on it, that's where that big move happened, and it ran all the way up there. However, since then, just a perfect example of how you want a previous breakout point to act, meaning it was a level of resistance, and then you can see it's turned into support not once, but twice. So 0 0.044, uh, the key level here that you can see has been acting as support, and as long as it remains uh, you know, as long as the price remains above it, you, you really got to like the chart because that means it's holding up higher and building this higher base. Now, even if it doesn't hold, like I said, you still do have your uh, overall moving averages. However, the 0.044 mark certainly looks uh, like a nice little spot. And twice so far, you can see it's produced nice little bounces for anybody that was down there accumulating. So 0.044, uh, definitely, uh, you know, a nice little bullish area of support down there, which does make sense given it was such a key level of resistance. Now, in terms of resistance, the first level that's sticking out is this 0.061. You can see price came and uh, bumped its head on it right there. And then today, that's as high as the price went was 0.061. So that's gonna be the current level of uh, resistance that you wanna see the price break. With the break of that, the next level of resistance is not until up here at, let's see what this is, uh, up there at 0.0695. So let's just call it 0.07. Uh, now you may be thinking, well, geez, that's only a penny space right there. Well, let's remember, we're talking about a, a penny stock here. So one cent, when you're looking at percentages, adds up very quickly. So that nice potential little move there. And then the next area of resistance after that is not until way up there at uh, the nine cent mark, which is where you know this original breakout point happened. So all in all, a nice chart. Nice to see the volume start to creep back in. Nice to see the price react accordingly with that volume. And then good to see that it's got all these levels of support. And of course, got to give the edge to the bulls because of the overall context. If there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, again, this was XTRM. Thanks for listening.